Request winner, we have Kataratas, Segunda Inutil, Guitar Tabs, and Guitar Lesson. Special note with this, it's in a standard tuning, but the recording seems to be about a half a step flat, so it just sounds a little bit off if we're just trying to do standard tuning. Um, so if you want to match that exactly, just do a half step low on your tuning. Uh, but our purpose is just standard tuning, so it makes it easy to jump in here. And this intro main riff, it kind of builds. Uh, the initial part is just power chords. And we'll start here at the uh, F power chord, the one E with the three on the A and D. We just hit it and then come off to a quick open E back to it. Okay, bump it up to the G at the three and the fives. Quick little open E again, back to the G here at the three and fives. And then right at the fours for the G sharp at the four E sixes on the A and D. And we hit this once more and then a few strums closer. Okay, so just slowly that first half. Okay, something like that. And it's this is just, you know, pretty crazy strumming. You can get chaotic with it, no big deal. Okay, just be loose with it. No, no crazy uh, uh, set timing that has to be there. But the second time through we go the pattern, everything stays the same, but we get up to those couple strums of the G sharp at the four and sixes, but we drop back down to the open E power chord now. So it goes. Okay, and we just cycle between those two, uh, you know, endings throughout that first part. And like I said, it, it builds that main riff. Basically, it just goes from the power chords and then it just adds the G string into it to make it just like a major bar chord now. And it's that same major shape. So we'll have our, our power chord, the one with the three on the A and D, but then we add the two, all right, on the G. And we keep that shape throughout, all right? And it's the same, same strumming style and pattern, all that we do, the F to the quick open E, back to the F up to the G, we're just adding the, the G string with it now, so it gives a little different vibe to it. Up to the four and sixes with the now five on the G. Okay, go through it, the whole thing again, leave off those few uh, G sharps there, and just go back down to a big open E. Now we just switch into just more of an eighth note style strumming, just a quick like back and forth. And this is this like building up of uh, a series of chords. And we start here with the G power chord, so just three E with the five on the A and D. And we just strum this out, like I said, eighth note style, about, you know, uh, four measures worth. Okay, bump it up to this. Uh, now it's like a B flat major seven, so we just come up here to the six E, eight A, and a seven on the D, because we're wanting to keep this uh, certain couple of notes that are kind of similar in e every chord. All right, like we're gonna be wanting to keep those two notes and the the positions we move to next. So. All right, and we just take the bass note, that 6E, make it a 7 now. So we keep the 8 and the 7 there, the 8A, 7, middle D. And then the final one just becomes a D minor because we just keep that 8A, 7D, and just make the 10 on the E now. All right, in this next section, it's, it's really just super noisy and chaotic here, so uh, it's hard to know if this is all like an improvised thing or a set, you know, series of chords or anything, but it's just, there's a lot of noise going on here and, and tough to discern what exactly is happening here. For the most part, we just play around with these octaves, you know, get wild with them. Um, we start here at, say, like the 4A, 6G, up to the 5 and 7, back down to the 4 and 6. Land at the 6E, 8D. Keep it going higher with the 8 and 10. And then finish at the 9 and 11. All right, and then we move to something that sounds kind of like this, a little dissonant, where we go the 3E, 6 on the D. 
and we want to keep the 6D going. Change the bass note, so go with the 3 to the 6E 6D. Keep it moving, 7E 6D. And then just finish at that 9 and 11 again. All right, and this final section becomes another, you know, more discernible riff going on here. We just come off to the big open E power chord, strum it out for, you know, maybe a dozen times. All right, then just go to the F for, you know, about half a dozen. Then zoom up here, get the tens on the G and B and just give it a bend. And we go through that a handful of times, and at the very end, uh, we just do this little trick here where uh, we hit the open E, and then you can reach over and just give the uh, the string, the E string, a bend behind the net. Okay, if that's if that's too tricky, um, if you got like a a tremolo arm too, you can do it that style. Just give it a little raise. Thanks for checking out the video, everybody. Like it, share it, leave a comment. It's always good to hear from you. Um, do me a favor and hit the subscription button. I put out a video pretty frequent, so you don't want to miss out on that. Uh, check out the links in the description box below. I have really cool links for uh, tabletry books, all the gear I use, t-shirts, fun stuff like that. So thank you very much, and we'll see you next time.